Hey guys, welcome back to Mystical Mermaid. This is a fun pick a card reading when it comes to who will you marry? Who's your future spouse? This is just for fun, you guys. So don't take it too seriously. Although some of it could resonate, especially if you're already married or if you're engaged and you and you watch this and you're like, okay, that matches with who I'm with. Hey, that's beautiful. Um, but yeah, so I do wanna mention something before I get started. Well, first, let me show you the pals. We have pal one, we have pal two, we have pal three. I am going to shuffle the tarot cards live. Well, you know, on, on, on video, <laughs> not really live, but on video. I have the Oracle um, cards pulled already. I do want to mention that there are kids playing in the background. They are not my kids. They're my neighbor's kids. There are dogs barking. There are people having fun because it's a beautiful day. So if you have an issue with noise in the background, I am not the reader for you. Not today. Okay. I also want to mention, if you guys want to skip ahead and um, go to your pals, I will be posting the timestamps soon. Um, but let me get to this message that I want to talk about. Let me adjust this camera. What I do want to mention, um, for any of you guys who, who like to watch pick a card readings, which I'm sure you must like to do so if you are watching this video right now, I do want to just mention, I do not like negative energy in my comments. Okay, if you have something that's not so positive to say, please just move on to the next reader. Um, I'm not the reader for you. Feel free to unsubscribe to my channel. Feel free to block me, whatever the heck you want to do. But do not comment on my posts. Um, I don't like the negative energy. If you're someone who has an issue with me posting timestamps late or not posting timestamps at all, then please move on to the next reader. If you don't resonate with this reading, please feel free to move on to the next reader. If you think that I'm unorganized or that my energy is weird, please move on to the next reader. If you have a problem with same-sex marriages or couples, please move on to the next reader. If you have an issue with people of color, if you are racist, please move on to the next reader reader i am not for you i don't do negative energy i don't entertain negative energy and i don't do i don't i don't do the whole um pleasing people this is my channel i'm not going to apologize for anything i do these readings for free if you want something that's more specific and to the point where you don't have to jump to timestamps, so you can feel free to book me or another reader i want you guys to think that really take into consideration i want you to really 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 take some time to think about the fact that people have their own lives and we do this for free on our own free time okay and this is energy so you can move on to the next reader or, or get some tarot cards and do your own readings okay so i do want to mention that i don't i don't do negative energy i just really don't like that it's very inconsiderate it's very um i don't know i just feel like it's it's just weird like people are giving you something for free online it's not even really specifically for you it's for everyone if you don't like it keep it moving all right so that's what i have to say i might do a, a separate video just talking about the things that i don't like and i don't allow on my channel just so you guys can get the tone i'm here for love light peace joy comfort happiness funniness <laughs> that's not even a word i don't think <laughs> like i'm having a moment already i'm gonna need some coffee but yeah it's like let's just have fun let's be goofy and silly and positive let's uplift each other okay so point blank period let's jump into this reading who are you going to marry what can we get on these people who are they okay let's go pal one pal two pal three we're starting with pal one of course let's move these over to the side and once again, you guys, I'm sorry for the rant, but I have to go there. Some people just don't think about that. It's like, I'm doing this on my own spare time. Like, get lost, buddy. Kick rocks. Find your happiness. Go somewhere. <laughs> don't try to bring me down, though, okay? All right, let's go. Pow one. Let's see what's happening. Now, I'm trying to decide. Do I want to show your oracle cards first? Or do we want to get into tarot? Let's get into the tarot first. Let's see what that tarot has. All right. Holy Spirit. Please come through and give us clear, accurate messages. Let's get a, a date. Let's get some numbers. We have six here. I'm going to get three numbers. We have six. We have one. 
and we have four, six, one, and four. So those numbers could mean something. It could be a certain month. It could be a certain day. It could be a life path number. Holy Spirit, who is pal one marrying? Who is their future spouse? Give us clear, accurate communication. We have the Queen of Wands popping out real fast. Confidence and warmth. Okay, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. Doesn't have to be, though. Oh, yep, Sag. Okay, we have temperance. Maintaining balance, all right? We have heavy Sagittarius energy out here. Who else? What else do we need to know? Mm, star, Aquarius, hope, good fortune. This is beautiful. All right. So I'm already getting some interesting energy. This person could actually be a star. I don't always say that with the star card, but I am getting that energy. And this card flew out. The high priestess. Whoa. Okay. So this person could be spiritually gifted in some type of way. This could be a queen of wands. Okay. This could be a feminine or masculine energy. Doesn't matter. But this does show a feminine energy here. This person could be a Sagittarius, heavy Sagittarius placements here. Um, High Priestess Pisces, we have Aquarius, we have a little bit of water here. This person, the High Priestess in the Temperance card, this could be, um, and the Star card, this person could be a Star Seed, is what I'm hearing. They could be from your Star family. What do we need to know about this person? Who is this future spouse? Two of Cups, definitely your future spouse. Look at that. Huh. Okay. This person could be a star. Look, I don't, this is giving me, oh my God, I hate this. This is giving me Elton John vibes. I'm hearing um, Benny and the Jets. But hold on, he has a song. Oh my God, I can't remember the name of the song. I'm hearing it. Oh, you guys have to have patience with me. Sometimes they give me songs and they're going, oh my God, we have the emperor. See, yeah, this person's, okay. This person is a boss. <gasps> at the bottom of the deck, you guys have the Ten of Cups. Look at that. Okay, okay, okay. Oh my God, they're telling me I need to get this song. So bear with me. Oh, we have Knight of Pentacles at the bottom, Wisdom and Planning. This person is smart. They they plan well. I'm hearing that they're really great with their money. We have Aries here. We have um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, Aquarius. But I want to say heavy on the Aquarius, heavy on Pisces. Heavy on Sagittarius and Aries, okay? Now, let's let's see what's happening here. Because I do, they keep giving me that song. I'm, oh yeah, yeah. Sometimes I have to sing it to know, like, what it is. And I don't know if I want to go there. Okay, hold on, you guys. Let's see. I'm going to set the timer, too. You guys know I'm getting used to this timer thing. You know, I have to do this because your girl talks a lot. So, don't mind me. All right, okay, let's see what's happening here. I'm getting a traveling energy. Whenever I see this card, I think of Africa, obviously, okay? This star card here actually shows like this, is that a police car? Yeah, it's like a police car traveling. This kind of makes me think of Vegas for some reason. So this person may like to travel, may like to go on road trips, might actually like to move around, do different things. They might be quite adventurous. Yeah, Pisces is here heavy, you guys. I'm I'm just hearing that again. Um, but I keep I don't know the words to the song. They keep playing it and I'm trying to get it out of my head. Um it's Elton John where he says I work something so hard to live so long. Something about a wife? Oh my god. Is it Starman? No, it's Starman would be David Bowie. So now I'm hearing David. Maybe this person likes David Bowie and Elton John. Um, this person could be born in the 70s or 80s, or they might like some music from the 70s and 80s. Or they, I don't know. I'm just getting this very interesting kind of um, quirky energy when it comes to music. But oh my gosh. Oh my God. I'm so mad. You guys, I'm blanking. I'm blanking. So I have to move on. But we have the high priestess here. This is someone who's very intuitive, okay? The high priestess has a lot of spiritual knowledge. I'm, I'm just getting higher knowledge, higher learning. This person may have finished, um, like, went through school, went to school all the way, like, finished it out, went to college, you know, all the way. I'm hearing university. This person went to a certain university. And the queen of wands is also intuitive. So this person uses their instincts. They're very um. In wow, instinctual, is when I'm hearing this person goes off of how they feel. 
And they're not afraid. This person could be a gambler in a way. And I'm not saying that in, in a bad way. Oh, like, oh, you should be aware that they gamble. I am getting that Las Vegas casino kind of energy. Um, they might actually like the movie Casino. Um, um, I'm hearing they might actually like Robert De Niro. I don't know why I'm randomly. I don't know why I'm hearing Richard Gere. Richard Gere has nothing to do with this, but I'm hearing Richard Gere. So maybe there's a something, maybe a movie that they like that has Richard Gere in it. Richard Gere did a lot of movies in the, I think the eighties or 70s or the 80s so once again this person may be older and like maybe maybe born in the 70s or 80s or they like music and film entertainment from that time frame but um there's an energy of traveling this person likes to take a risk that's the point of the gambling energy and we have these cocktails here yeah this is like nightlife they may have they might like the nightlife like cocktail parties Think of, um, I'm hearing Luck Be A Lady, Frank Sinatra, that energy of, you know, yeah, Luck Be A Lady kind of energy. This person may have a higher, um, they might be in a position where they, they go to a lot of dinners, a lot of like, uh, a lot of like traveling and it's like networking, a lot of networking. They may do something where they're in a leadership position where they're either helping the world, like um, something global, something where they're helping, they're in charge. They're in a high position. Let's just say that, okay? They're in some type of high position. And I feel that in this position, they do a lot of mingling. And I just heard endorsements. So I don't know if this person does something and then people come and they decide whether they want to invest or, you know, or if this is charity or something like this. But this is... Like when you watch movies and they're saying, oh, they're having this big, you know, party. I don't know why I'm seeing Bruce Wayne now. I'm, I'm getting the energy of Batman, you know, like when Bruce Wayne was doing those different gatherings, those different, you know, parties. And um, he was donating money and he was kind of known for that, you know. Um, but on the side, he was Batman. So there is energy with this person, maybe one, one, one person. How do I say this? This person may act one way while around guests and um, to the public. But when they're with you, I feel like they're gonna be much more like family oriented, if that makes sense, more like an, an angel. Like they're gonna be looking like, wow, okay, so now I'm home, I can drop the drop my guards. I don't have to be this emperor, this leader. Um, this could be even a woman who's in her power because she's giving me a woman that's very much in her power. There's a powerful energy here. So whether this is a masculine energy or feminine energy, this is someone who's very much in their power. Look at that. And they're very brave. They're very courageous. That's how you're going to know this person. They're brave. They're courageous. They're not afraid to speak up for themselves. This person is a, this person speaks up. They might speak up for other people or animals or the planet. So they might be into healing the planet, but they, they're not afraid to have fun. This isn't someone who, you know, oh, we're going to do this. We're going to help the world. And then they go home or they don't have fun. No, this person does things to um, raise money. I'm hearing they do things to raise money. So they might throw concerts to raise uh, money for different events, um, for different charities. I mean, this is interesting. I feel like this person is a star, a star seed. And I am hearing indigo. This person is a star seed. They do like to have fun. Don't get it twisted. You're going to see the fun, warm side of them. The public is going to see the confident, you know, fortunate, you know, emperor energy that looks like everything's balanced and is in order. And don't get me wrong. This person is balanced and is in order. They are wise. They have planned well. They're very thought out. They might even have Virgo in their chart. This person... um, is very meticulous is what I'm hearing with planning and with detail. So they care a lot about what goes into the event, you know, if it's coming off in the right way. Um, they don't want to seem like they're using people. They just want their voice to be heard. They want, I'm hearing a cause. They're, they want you to know the cause that they're fighting for. So, and they're also great entertainers. And that gives me a Leo energy where they are great at entertaining and hosting. So they might, they might even be a host or entertainer of some sort. Someone, um, or promoter, someone that is able to, I'm getting something bigger than promoter though. This is a bigger energy. This person likes to have friends and family over. They like to entertain for them. They like to have something for people to think about, to watch. Um, they like to make people feel. And um, they definitely like people to feel what they're feeling. This Elton John song is going to bother me, you guys. Like, I really want to know what this Elton John song is. Like, they really want me to know this. Um, 
I just, I'm not getting it. They're not telling me what it is. So let's move on. Let's see what other energies we can get. Let me see if I can hum it. Nope, not getting it, you guys. But it's weird because I'm seeing a, a old, like an old video of him singing this song. It's one of his more popular songs. Rocket Man. <gasps> yeah, I'm a rocket man. Yeah. Dun, 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 dun. Ah, there you go. And I think it's going to be a long, long time. Something like that. Yeah, Rocket Man. I'm a rocket man. That song, Rocket Man. Rocket Man. Dun, 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 that. You guys need to listen to that song. It's so heavy in this reading. It damn near took over the reading. Go listen to that. I don't know what is that with that Rocket Man. And this is kind of giving me like, I know this is a skiing like suit, but this makes me think of like the whole, um, ah, it's giving me this vibe of like the 80s or 70s and people are gearing up and they're acting like they're going into space. Yeah, Rocket Man, Elton John. That might be a favorite song or it might be something that their parents used to play. Something about Elton John is powerful in this reading. This person might play the piano. They might like, they look, look, they might like glasses. <laughs> I don't know. Let's see what else we need to know. What sign is Elton John? Who knows? Ah, Nine of Pentacles. Yes, this person is financially stable and secure. I feel like this is the Bachelor or Bachelorette. I think they've been single for a bit, you guys. This person's been single, but they want a family. I think they're kind of tired of being single and hosting these parties and hosting these different, you know, gatherings. So, you know, they like what they're doing it for to help raise awareness. They're very fortunate, but it's like, okay, I've done this a lot. It's getting a little tired. I need to have my own family. I'm so used to doing things for other people. It's time that I have my own family. Okay. Page of Wands, yeah. They want, I think they want a child. I feel like this person wants um, a kid is what I'm hearing. It's like, let's let's spread out. Why did I hear that? Let's spread out. Oh, I'm hearing Andre 3000 spread. This person has a unique, um, this person has unique taste. There's a flamboyant kind of energy about them. I think they like artists that are weird. Andre 3000 is a unique artist. Um, David Bowie, unique artist. Elton John, unique artist. These are unique, flamboyant um, artists. I don't, you might want to look up the signs of those guys. We have Andre 3000. I think he's a Gemini. I'm not sure. Is he an Aquarius or Gemini? I think he might be a Gemini. I'm not sure. Oh, we have Aquarius here though. Um, I don't know what sign David Bowie is, but David, David Bowie was definitely a star seed. He was definitely a star seed. I mean, he knew it. Let's see, Elton John, Starseed for sure, legendary. All of them are legendary. So this is something that you might want to pay attention to. I don't know if those guys may have something in common besides their flamboyant, unique energy. Now, this is funny. David Bowie is definitely a Starseed. Got that lightning. Ah, ah, Ziggy Stardust. Ziggy Stardust. Oh, I have his tarot cards. I should have pulled. Okay, you guys need it his tarot cards those tarot cards on this spread because that's the energy i'm getting um but the thunderbolt the lightning um so interesting i remember i said batman bruce wayne batman kind of like two different energies same person ziggy stardust david bowie um that energy i don't know but um andre 3000 and benjamin um andre benjamin he kind of had this whole kind of dual energy to him as well there is, this person has two different sides. They could be a Gemini. <laughs> could very well be a Gemini. Doesn't have to be. They could have Sagittarius placements as well. And they're always just trying new things. But this person wants a family. They're ready to like to have a legacy. They are very victorious is what I'm hearing. Um, they like music. And they may like to hear you sing. We have this card. They keep showing me this card. They're going to like to um, dress up and go out with you. If you're a feminine energy, if you um, like dresses, this person may buy you dresses. They might like to see you dressed up. I'm getting like fancy, expensive um, dates, cocktail dresses. And I'm getting that scene from, oh, Richard Gere. There we go. I don't know what song Richard Gere is. 
so maybe you guys need to look up the sign Richard Gere is. Richard Gere, uh, I'm pretty woman cocktail cocktail scene. She had to find a cocktail dress to wear. Mm hmm. And they're showing me this scene where he walks in and he doesn't even see. He doesn't recognize it's her at the table. I mean, at the bar. Um, yeah, that energy. Julia Roberts. Okay, what else do we need to know? You guys might want to look up her sign. Pay attention to what I'm saying. Could mean something. Okay, this card flew all the way to the floor. Whoa, nine of cups. Nines could be significant here, you guys. We have nine of pentacles, nine of cups. This person is a wish fulfillment, okay? Page of swords. Yeah, they're very knowledgeable. This person has, it's like they've thought about their life. And they're like, the only thing that's missing here is a family. Like, I've done everything. I've I've accomplished everything I've, I've wanted to accomplish. I've healed from the past. Temperance is healing for me as well. So this person could have went through something that they've, you know, that they're healing from. Or they care about healing the planet or healing the world. They might do something when it comes to healing the, the earth. Um, it could be something in the medical field. Whoa, and as I said, the timer goes off. It doesn't have to be the med medical field, but it could be. Um, this person just overall cares about humanity and not just humans, animals as well, okay? So nines are here. This person is t is going towards a completion as we're speaking is what I'm hearing. I don't know why this person's... Um, I feel like it's that realization that I, this has been beautiful. Everything's beautiful, been beautiful thus far, but I'm. it's time for something new. I don't know why, but they're showing me um, that old... I keep saying, I don't know why. <laughs> I hate that. Anyways, what is that TV show that used to come on? Um, oh, my gosh. It was a kid's show. Neighbor. Uh, the, the guy who used to sing the whole neighbor song, You're My, You're My Neighbor. Something. The old guy, God bless his soul. He used to wear a sweater. Oh my gosh. It's they're giving me like the ending song how he says hello, neighbor, something like that, and then he ends it out. This person why am I getting all this weird energy? Hmm, that might mean something here, you guys. This person may like to sing. It, they might just they might be in the actual um the the entertainment industry. They could be in the music inter entertainment. This is interesting. Yeah, they might actually like Vegas shows is what I'm hearing. Is it Roger? Is it something Roger? I'm not sure. Oh my God, that is so bad. I used to watch them all the time when I was a kid. But anyways, this person is a leader. They are their own boss. They're in a position of authority. They're in a position where the light is on them is what I'm hearing. They are the star of their own show. Is what I'm getting. They are the star of their own show. Keep that in mind. They are the star of their own show. This could also be something that they're working towards. But I'm getting more of an older energy with this person. This person's been doing something for a bit. This isn't like, well, I want to do this. I feel like they already are doing this. Okay? This person may like cocktails. I think I mentioned that before. I, I, they keep showing me this drink. This is a social person. That's how you're going to know. They're social. But when you see them behind closed doors, they're going to be warm. They're going to be kind of like playful with you is what I'm hearing. You might get a peek at their emotions. That might be the one thing that they are they know that they need to open up about. But it's just like, I feel like this person's so used to being positive. They, they like to be positive and they're um, optimistic. But it's hard for them to kind of get in touch with that more sensitive, vulnerable, emotional side. When you see that, you see that more as determination. It's like they channel it as determination to help the world. But they don't really take the time to really process their emotions all the time. And I feel that that's what they're trying to bring in balance. That's what they're working on. If there was a downfall with this person, it would be the fact that they're constantly planning on how to help others constantly planning on how to make other people smile and laugh and be happy instead of taking more time out in solitude for themselves okay i'm also getting this person is just well not they're knowledgeable about whatever the hell it is that they like to do or that they do they're they're very wise this person has money i wouldn't be shocked if they came from money okay because it seems just to 
I'm hearing they're like on autopilot. This is something that's already moving. It's not something that they're building to building on. This isn't someone who's like, well, I'm trying to get to this. They're already in this. Okay, I hope that's able to help. That's what I'm getting. All right, so let's move on. Let's see what else. What other messages can we get? So here's some random cards I want to pull. We have the fall. So the fall season could be important. They could be, um, this person could actually be coming in the fall is what I'm hearing. Or they were born in the fall. Let's see what else. Okay, but then we have spring. So we have the fall time and the spring time. Could be born in the spring, could be born in the fall. You guys could be getting married in the fall or springtime. These two cards are significant in some type of way. In fact, I'm going to lay them near each other. Let's see. What else do we need to know? We have healing. Okay, see. There is something that they are trying to work on when it comes to healing. They could be just working on healing the planet. I also am getting that they may see you as someone who's very healing, maybe nurturing. Some of you guys could be water signs. Not all of you, but some of you guys could be some type of water sign. But I'm getting this nurturing energy. It's like the right balance. I feel like you're going to balance them out. See what else we have. Journey. I think I mentioned earlier that this person might like to travel. Rocket Man. Oh, that's what I was saying earlier. So the interesting thing, Ziggy Stardust, David Bowie, the star energy, star, star being energy. Um, Elton John, star sunshades is what I'm seeing. Uh, Rocket Man song. Then we have Andre 3000 with Prototype and um behold a lady you know prototype that whole music video is like about like him being an alien and coming here and very high vibrational let's just say that this person's a high vibing soul now everyone's you know everyone goes through their their ish no one's perfect but this person's a high vibing energy and they are quirky that's what i'm hearing they are quirky they are different they have some out of the box ideas their style might be a little weird, you guys. I'm not going to lie. Like, they're, the way they dress could be a little, like, okay. <laughs> All right. Like, this guy came with, you know, a star, you know, like a star-shaped, I don't know, a star encrusted on their jacket or something like that. I don't know. Some type of weird, they might have something that they like to wear that could be a little weird for you. It's like, what? Or they could be a little flashy. Um... It's like they like to express themselves via what they might wear. So, is it an ascot? I'm hearing it. Is it a, is it called an ascot? The little scarves? They're not. Are they considered scarves? It could be an ascot. So, this person has like a weird kind of, um, yeah, they like to do, they like to dress differently. They might like to go back in. They might like uh, vintage clothing. Um, they might like the vintage styles and they like they may like to mix it up. I'm seeing Harry Styles. You know how Harry Styles has been trying to dress more vintage. It's kind of giving me that that idea a little bit. Not full on, but even Andre 3000 dressed weird during a certain amount of time. Elton John, um, David Bowie. Yes, yeah, so this person is a little they are they're out there, they're they're not afraid to express themselves and then they'll change it up on you and you'll be like, Well, what the hell what 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 phase are we in now? Like, what are you wearing? And so I'm getting that when you guys are together, you may be a little nervous. Like, okay, what is he or she about to put on? And for if for you, if it's a feminine energy, she just might be very like bold and, and bright with her color choices. Um, her clothing, it's just going to be, I'm hearing immaculate. So this person, they're not very big on what's in. Fashion roles, they're not big on it. They don't care. They don't really care about what people say is in. You know how those old magazines, they're showing me a vision, and those old magazines, have, they used to have the worst dress. I don't know if that's still in the magazines. I stopped watching mag. I'm watching magazines. I stopped reading magazines a long time ago. I don't do gossip magazines. I don't do anything gossip. But anyways, now they have the shows where, you know, they have worst dress and all of that, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, this person doesn't give a flying f is what i just heard like i'm gonna wear what i want to wear in fact they may be known for dressing kind of differently for the time frame that they're in so hey i'm also getting a vision of jadena um i'm getting a vision of uh oh my god what's that child's name 
I forgot the person's name, but anyways, this person dresses very different, okay? Now they're giving me a vision of Sia. Hopefully not that different, but <laughs> not playing. Um, this person's a little, a little different, okay? So that's that's just what you need to know. Their wardrobe, the style, the the flair is different, but they're so different that it's just it's iconic. It's like, okay, it's not a forced, okay, I'm gonna be really real. And this may offend people. I love, I love Gaga, love Gaga, no offense to Gaga. But I feel Gaga, Miss Gaga likes to wear things to get attention. So does Nicki Minaj, okay, I love Nicki too. They like to wear things to get attention, to get a rise. Okay, maybe I'll get, you know, seen and all that. But this person's not wearing it for the thrill, the, that, that, that shock factor, it's not that. They're wearing it because they actually like it, so that's the energy like they're actually quirky it's kind of like for real with that hat you know it's like this is who i am this is my vibe you know alicia keys with the braids that everyone used to you know talk about it's a certain vibe that people are used to this they're, they're used to this person being like that so okay they're known for wearing this or they're known for being someone who could you know rock this they may have a vintage car is what i'm hearing you guys or they like vintage cars okay Let's move on. I'm getting a lot of channel messages here. For some of you, if it's a girl, um, not, ah, a feminine energy, she may, he, she, they, they might like to wear um, some type of bohemian kind of, um, I'm getting like a bohemian vibe. I love bohemian vibes. Um, oh my God, they're telling me to share share you guys with that. Okay. So I, I had a blog and my blog was called Bohemian Retro Chick because I have a mixture of, I love Bohemian and retro clothing. Um, it's very different, like 50s, 60s clothing along with the Bohemian kind of like hippie kind of energy. But I also like to dress like James Dean for some weird reason. I'm a Levi's girl all the way with the black motorcycle jacket, some Doc Martens or some Chucks. That's me. Really, it is. I'm not really a dress girl. But when I am a dress girl, I'm either very bohemian or I'm very retro. It's very strange. But it's like all three energies. It could be past life stuff. And they're telling me to mention this to you because this person, when you're with them, when you when you start dating them or when you're in a relationship with them, when, when you finally marry them, you're going to really recognize it. You know what? You're going to start catching on to their patterns that they might have different styles that they like that they kind of play off of. So one day they might be more retro. The next day they might be more bohemian. The next day they might be a little bit more like flashy 70s or 80s. I am getting disco. So something from the 70s could be appealing to them. So that you'll see that you'll be like okay like what is up with this like is this a past life thing kind of coming through <laughs> or what so that's the energy anyways let's move on we have money this person got a lot of money okay point blank period this person likes money who doesn't they receive it well that's what i just heard they receive it well i don't know what that means so um this person receives money <laughs> It's nothing. I'm getting a really nonchalant kind of energy when it, can't, when it comes to money. It's like, yeah, I, I get money. Um, <laughs> yeah, I get money. I'm seeing a vision of uh, Leonardo DiCaprio. I don't know why. They're giving me a really nonchalant kind of look. Money's nothing. I get money. Um, <laughs> kind of like that energy. So there's a money. Money's nothing. Money's not a thing. Oh, now I'm hearing Jay-Z. And the Ferrari or Jaguar switching both lanes with the top back screaming out, money ain't a thing. That's it. Money's not a thing. And they might actually have a convertible. So, yeah. All right. We have travel here. Taking flights. Mm-hmm. Not a thing. Money's not a thing, right? They're not, they don't stress out about money. And they really don't, I'm here. they don't really prioritize it. Um, when we talk about flashy, their, their style they're not flashing and oh look at me i got chains on i got a lot of money look at me they might have a rolodex whoa i wanted to say rolex but they just said rolodex okay oh all right let's rewind they just told me something okay so i don't want you guys to be afraid when i say this but i just heard a rolodex full of numbers so you guys what they're actually showing me those old this person may have had a past life okay this is weird this person's very old school in a weird way either you're dating someone old or you're gonna i mean you're gonna marry someone older older or you could be someone who is older watching this 
this could just be i'm seeing someone actually going through like um ha huh, there it's like this envelopes with with numbers it's not really envelopes it's like dividers with with numbers and addresses of people that they may have dated <laughs> being honest with you guys people that they may like to hook up with this person has people on board is what i'm hearing oh my god if i tell you the song i'm hearing now it'll be bad i just heard i got hoes in different area codes so yeah i don't know about i don't know about that energy that could have been the whole casino vegas cocktail i'm so used to meeting people ah that's why they're showing me leonardo dicaprio is it one of his movies where he's kind of a Mm. I, I'm it's it's I'm blanking out. There's a movie where he like has a lot of parties and he's communicating a lot and he has a lot of money. Um that person might like that movie. But there's the energy of this person. They were a bachelor or a bachelorette and they keep track of the people that you know they know because they call them every now and then. It's like, "Okay, I I've, I've met 10 different people or 20 different people over this time span and you know, these are the people I feel comfortable with, you know, chatting up. We have an agreement that, hey, we might see each other, you know, go out, you know, keep each other company. And then that's it. It's not really serious is what I'm hearing. It's nothing serious. Um, but they do go, I'm hearing mental Rolodex too. They do remember different people. And this is weird. This person, let's just, let's just keep it clear. I don't think this person's a bad person at all. I'm not getting that energy at all. I just feel like this person enjoyed their fun and they enjoyed getting to know people and spending time with people. Point blank period. But they were always looking for someone that they, you know, could relate to on a different level. It's giving me that behold a lady, Andre 3000. Um, energy, it's like, well, I'm trying to come across this energy that I feel is going to resonate with mine. But in the meantime, since I haven't found that, I'll just have fun because what am I going to do? Stress it out? Like, I can't stress myself out. What am, I can't stress this, you know? This person isn't here. I haven't met them yet. It is what it is. So that's going to flip. I do, but going back to what I wanted to say before they said Rolodex, I feel like this person may have a Rolex, but they're not flashy. Like, they're not. you're not going to see them just flossing for no reason. When they have something, it's because they genuinely like it. And um, yeah, it's just who they are. Okay, it's no harm to it. It's just who they are. But they have a lot of money. They like to travel. A lot of their money might actually be spent on traveling. They might like to take private jets. They might like to fly first class. Mm, I actually heard that they might like, okay, they like the idea of learning extreme sports. So, yeah, this is that very active. Remember, we had the skiing cart, the cart where she looked like she was skiing. So this person may like to be very active. That's a fire sign kind of vibe, in my opinion. This person may know how to actually, you know, drive a boat. They might know how to fly an airplane. That's the energy. So keep that in mind. They might not be afraid to jump into a, a caged area with animals. So they might actually volunteer some of their time with animals is what I'm hearing. We have luminosity. This is light to me. This is just shining bright. This person could be known. They could be known. Um, they could be well known. They could just have that, that aura about them that's going to get you. When you see them, you're going to be like, whoa. I'm hearing whoa there. Like, holy smokes. Are they looking at me? That's what I'm hearing. Are they are they looking over here? So when you guys see them, you might be with friends or you might be thinking to yourself, I know they're not looking at me. Are they? Oh, oh are they looking at me? Oh, my God. <laughs> and you might originally laugh at some of the things that they might like have on them like dress like the things that they might wear or the things they may say to you they might have some quirky quirky way of saying things different quirks about them um like they might like hats they might like shades they may like um watches or something that they like something that they wear that's kind of different we have a sacred woman we have the high priestess here too you guys this person has a connection with spirit. Don't get it twisted through all that money. I just heard through all the money and the fame. So this person could be famous or they might be known in some type of area life. Now, when you watch my readings and I get a famous energy, it could be, oh, they're a celebrity. It could be to that extent. But you have B-list celebrities, A-list celebrities. You got all types of celebrities out here now, especially in this generation. Um, no shade. But I do feel like this person, and, and when I say known, like well-known, they could also be well-known in what they're working in, the field that they're working in, okay? So take it how it resonates, but I'm not eliminating 
the factor that they could actually be a celebrity, okay? So it could be. But when I give these different celebrities their names, it's just for you to get the idea, to get the energy that's coming across. So don't, don't get it twisted, boo. Something about the mountains. They might like the mountains. They like scenery. They like scenery. And in fact, they might like to take you on dates where you can see different scenery, you know, different, different things. It's like, okay, let me take you a boat on a, on a yacht. Ah, there is a movie with Leonardo DiCaprio where he's on a yacht with, is that Marco? I don't know. I don't know who that woman is. It might be Marco. Anyways, um, there's something with uh, entertainment that they do like. They could be entertainment themselves. They like to travel, though. They like to be free-spirited. <gasps> That's why they're showing me... Okay, if I'm not mistaken, if I'm not mistaken, Leonardo DiCaprio, who's an amazing actor, um, I, if I'm not mistaken, he, he made... There's an actor that donated money to... The, the Dakota Pipeline situation. There's someone that helped with that, helped the Native Americans. This person it cares about the earth. Oh, Leonardo DiCaprio helped with so he helps with um climate change. He likes he cares about the the climate. He cares about the world. He cares about the earth and the planet. What 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 we're whoa? They cut me off. They said what's happening and what we're about to go into. Okay, channel message coming through about the world. So it was like pay attention to where the world is about to go we don't give a flying f about mother guy we don't care about the world and it's gonna show at some point right we need to pay attention to climate change we need to pay attention to treating better care why did i say treating better care taking better care of the world of the planet of the earth of the animals every all of that matters so it's the energy of taking care of something outside of you the world Using your money, putting your money where your mouth is and helping others. That's that nonchalant energy I got with the money. It's like, yeah, I get money. I'm hearing I get money, money all the time. Something, I get money. That's a song as well, but it doesn't matter. It's like, yeah, I get it, but I'm not helping on it. It's like I, I'm using it to help the world. Can't you see? These parties are to get people to invest in this, to help out with this. The money's for awareness. So they're using their platform to try to help the world. I do feel like they have a Native American connection. They could be Native American. They could have that in their um, bloodline somewhere, or it could be a past life situation, or they care about hel helping the Native Americans. I'm hearing the Hopis, the, you know, the Navajos. It's just, there's a lot here. They might, there could be an Arizona connection, but this person is working their best to try to make a difference in the world and that's what matters they're a light they're trying to shine their light so although you might see this kind of wardrobe this strange energy they're actually doing something good okay let's see what else sorry i got tongue-tied there you guys we have healer of the ages yeah this person cares about healing the world oh we have healing here so yeah this person may also be just healing it's like i I'm hearing therapeutic. They like to help others. It feels healing to them. And I'm not saying that they're doing it for just to make themselves feel good. But they, they actually like to help. They like to heal. And it may not be, oh, I'm a doctor. It could be. It could just be, you know, I like to help out and, and be there for the world, for the earth. You see how she's holding this flower, this lotus flower, which is enlightenment. And you have all these, you have this butterfly around her. You have this bird here. And she's this fruitful, abundant energy. They may also see you like that, but there's they want something that's deeper than the material things because they already have that. That's that's not a thing for them. They want something deeper. It's like, can I have love? Can I have something that's not just they want something from me? Can I have the love where it's on a soul level, something spiritual, something uplifting? Can we heal the planet? Can we help the earth? Are you willing to jump on board with me? How do you feel about helping the world? We have all these mountains. They could live in the mountains or they, they really like the mountains. They, they they really care about the earth, okay? This is weird. I, and if I don't have the information right about um, Leonardo DiCaprio, I apologize. But I feel like there is an actor that is known for raising money, trying to raise awareness for um, climate change. You know, like trying to help the, the world, the environment. There's someone who does that. And I'm not, if I'm not mistaken, there that same person helped with um, giving back to different 
Charities? I'm not sure who that is. Why am I hearing that? So this could be just different energies. Maybe they're giving me different celebrities who have just given, you know, money to different charities and different, um, whoa, I just heard the justice system. So this could just be someone who's helps, who helps in different ways. I just heard justice system. Wow, maybe this person works in the justice system or they care about fighting for what's just and what's right. I think I got this in another reading not too long ago. Interesting. Helping to free people who have been wrongly accused of things. Okay. We have the seventh chakra, Archangel Uriel, crown chakra. This person's very... Um, I'm, they might give off a mysterious vibe, even though they're very charismatic, very vibrant, very optimistic. They're st you st it's like I've met them. They're all these fun, happy, positive things, but there's still something that's mysterious about them and quite intense. It's like, who are you really? Is this a front? I think when people meet this person, it's like, yeah, they come off fun and loving, but there's still this curiosity about them. Where you want to know, and I feel that you're going to get to it. You're going to get down to it. You're going to see who they truly are. And what people aren't seeing is this person's hella spiritual. Like, extremely spiritual. And I don't always like using the word spiritual because I feel like we all are spiritual beings. But this person cares about enlightenment, meditation, prayer, mantras is what I'm hearing. They care about that. They may actually go to different retreats on the low is what I'm hearing. You have no idea. They may have, like... um. A, a yogi or something like that so on some eat pray love type of stuff i don't know this person really likes to focus on bingo healing because we have it here three times this person cares about that and i feel like they're trying to close out any cycles we have the closure clock ah, card here and look that looks like a portal see that light there and it looks like a portal so i definitely feel like they're trying to close out any cycles that are just not serving them and I am hearing stepping away from the limelight to go more into the light. So that's weird. So maybe they are known and they're trying to step away from that a bit to focus more on healing and enlightenment. Um, they might retreat. So this could be someone who who is known for something or is successful at something and they come and do it so much and they disappear for a little bit. They come back, they disappear. And what it is is they're spending that time traveling and retreating and learning about themselves they're very into, um, I'm hearing generational, I don't know why I just heard generational wealth, but I want to say ancestral healing. So they could be receiving some type of um, like gifts, uh, good karma for the generational healing that they're doing because this is generational healing. There's a lot of healing here. We have three cards talking about healing. And so this person could be a healer. They could be into Reiki healing. They could be into some type of healing. And maybe other people don't know it or you know, it could be like, okay, on the low, I'm into spiritual healing. I'm into different things that have to do with, like, energy healing. And a lot of people may not know that, or they may. It could be a doctor. Although I said earlier, I don't really know if they are or not. It's kind of unknown, but this person is known, known for what they're doing. If they're a doctor, they're really um, well paid. They might be a surgeon. They just cut me off as I was saying that, you guys. Um, this person could also... This is weird. I mean, this person may also have a have some type of grudge against the pharmaceutical company. <laughs> okay, so they might be like woke, woke. You know, like, okay, I heard that they put this out. Da, 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 da. So on their spare time, they might like to look into, you know, different things that are going on in the world that they feel it aren't right. They might be more on the natural side of things. Eat healthy. Let's, you know, um, sustain the earth. Let's, let's eco-friendly. They might drive... Um, a Tesla <laughs> like they they care about healing the earth let's not you know pollute the earth let's actually heal it you know so hey I, I like this person I like the energy I, I'm feeling it we have child nature look they like nature they like animals we have the horse here you have the white buffalo there's a connection with the Holy Spirit is what I'm hearing there's this a, a very very strong um spiritual tie for them that they're looking for they're looking for someone that they have a soul connection with like okay does this person make me feel something different like they want that different feeling 
soulmate energy child nature we have friendships with animals communication with nature spirits bingo this person likes nature they may retreat and go into nature to heal to communicate with gaia that's why they're continuously trying their best to put their money towards the earth and healing what else do we have we have messiah serving humanity with humility yeah this person cares about helping the animals the world every living being counts they could be vegan they could. What else? Advocate inspires you to put compassion into action. On some River Phoenix energy. Um, God bless his beautiful soul. River Phoenix, vegan. Uh, strong, like really strict vegan, I believe. Um, he was like, I think, I think he may have been one of like the first known actors to really stand up and work with PETA. Um, but he really cared about the animals. He cared about the planet. Uh, a very pure soul that was taken too soon. That energy, it's like a, a hippie kind of, in a good way, not in a bad way. Um, kind of like this down-to-earth bohemian vibe. Uh, and, and what's crazy is that that actor actually loved, he was he loved music and loved, you know, and he was good at acting. Um, but he loved the planet. He loved the, the animals. And he was trying to get people to to stop eating them, to stop harming them, right? So that's the energy that I am getting here. This person may um, care about different things like that. So we have the liberator. And this says, freeing yourself and others from outmoded beliefs. Re releasing negative thought pa patterns. So this person is trying to shine the light on uh, new ways of doing things is what I'm hearing. Like, okay. We don't have to hurt the earth. We could live this way, you know, or we don't have to use gas anymore. We can, we can live this way, you know, um, solar, solar panel, something with solar. So they might have a solar, something with the home. I think Elon Musk is working on something when it comes to that. Anyways, they might like Elon Musk, that whole vibe, like let's uplift the planet. Let's look at futuristic ways of living that that's going to help the earth. That's going to help the animals and, and, and in return is going to also help us. So they, when they have a family, I just want to let you guys know, and they don't have to be vegan. They, but they could, you know, like the idea of it, but they may not be vegan. They just may feel like, why don't, 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 don't hunt to kill. Like, you know how some people just go out killing animals. I feel like that bothers this person. Um, so yeah, but this person, when they have a family, don't be shocked if they're thinking, you know, why don't we try to, you know. Get the kids to eat more from the earth if they want kids. Let's eat more from the earth. I do feel like this person wants children or pets. I do feel like they want children. They want a legacy. I'm going to be honest. So if you don't want children, you might want to talk to this person. Um, but there's an energy of having someone to carry on that same message, you know, that same teaching. And they're very um, free-spirited. I'm hearing liberal. I don't know what that. That might be, be something for someone. But, um... They're a free spirit. It's like, I don't really want to be trapped or connected to anything that's going to tie me down. This could be a Sagittarius. It's just like, I kind of want to be free, but I want my own family, though. I want my own family. I want to be married, have my own family, and we can be free together and do what we want. That's what I'm hearing. Do what we want. My career, promotions, passion, offers, stability, wealth, new ideas. Yeah. A free thinker, new ideas, my career, wealth. This person is, they may work a lot because they care about the planet. I feel like this money is going going to, to something really good. Like it's going towards good things. So they may work a lot. You, you That might be something that you may be like, okay, when are you going to take a break? When are you going to rest? We have wild card. Yeah, they're unique, abstract. See, when I was talking about their clothing and the things that they like unpredictable art multifaceted museums they may like museums oh okay randomly i just heard or they may be against museums that's weird oh i just heard culture appropriation they don't like the idea that museums some some museums hold different cultures artifacts they don't like that Okay, that might give you a hint of who this person is. They're multifaceted. They, they like art. They love culture, but they don't like the idea that some of those things, some of those artifacts, most of them, all of them, have been taken from different cultures. And it's like, who gave you the right to do that? Yes, it's teaching us, but it doesn't belong to you. Give it back. And that's what I'm hearing. It doesn't belong to you. Oh, they're showing me Wakanda, Black Panther. 
Oh, we have a Black Panther here. Hold up. Ah, Black Panther. Oh, now they're saying Black Panther Party. Think about that. Black Panther Party was at the 70s. Um, but Black Panther, look at that. That was a big time. You guys might want to look up when uh look up Marvel Comics. When was the Black Panther created? When was it first written? You guys want to look that up. There's something to that. They might like they might look into things like that. Um, but remember that scene in the movie where oh, what is that guy's name? Michael B. Jordan. Michael B. Jordan when he was looking at the different things that was that was that a museum? There was something that he was looking at and he wanted it back. Yeah, that's the energy, basically. And now I'm seeing the... What is that funny movie with Adam... Is it... No, is it Adam Sandler in it? Owen Wilson? Is it Owen Wilson? And, and Adam... Not Adam Sandler. Why did I say Adam Sandler? I didn't mean to say Adam Sandler. I'm getting... um. Oh my gosh, Ben Stiller. Ben Stiller and Owen Wilson. The museum. Is it the night at the museum? I don't know. That movie where they're in the museum running and all that. I don't know. There is some type of message in that as well. So manifesting deja vu, patience, blissful. So you have some patience. This person may appear to you first in your dreams. You might have visions of this person. Or when you meet them, it's going to be like, huh, I feel like I've met them before. Or this is the energy that they're going to get when they meet you. And that's how they're going to know. <gasps> That's them. You remember they were looking for that feeling. Like, that's them. But you may actually have dreams of this person. So, patience. Deja vu manifesting. And I'm hearing Beyonce's deja vu. What else do we have? We have religious differences. So, yeah. You guys might have some differences when it becomes to your belief systems. This person could have been raised differently. You could have been raised differently. Or you might have a different outlook on things. Um, this is judgmental, holier than thou, sins, religious differences. This person may be a little hell-bent on some of their beliefs. Like, okay, um... Like the, like the argument with the museums. They could be like, well, I don't believe that that should be there. And then your argument could be, but if it wasn't there, will we have any knowledge of it? Will we have any knowledge of the different things that have happened to different cultures if it wasn't there? And this person's going to be like, well, I don't care if we would have had knowledge or not. It doesn't belong to us, you know? And it's just like, okay, all right. They could be, um, they may not have any religion. They may not follow any religions. They may believe in coexisting um, it could be something like that. I mean, you may be, you know, you could be a part of a religion. You may not. You could be Christian or Catholic. Who knows? But there could be a difference here. Maybe one of you guys are brought up religious and, you know, something has changed over time. But there's a difference in some type of way. When I see this, I also think of a cultural difference, like the way you're brought up. So there could be a cultural difference. They could be a different nationality for, um, than you or um, a different um, upbringing something's very different okay and I, I don't mean like oh we grew up in two different states it could be but I'm talking about something like drastic like a, a drastic difference they could be from a different country or a different it could be from a different state but I'm getting more of like something is different and this could be a, an issue where you have to work this out in your relationship where it's like okay look let's agree to disagree but I see where you're coming from like I, I understand that your intentions are pure and we're just not going to agree on this. And and most of the time in, in, in marriages, they don't always, you know, couples don't always agree. And that's perfectly fine. It's about respect. You have diamond. You'll be receiving or giving a precious gift. So this person may like to gift you things. Yeah, this person likes to offer you different gifts. Their, their love language might be giving, maybe gift giving. That might be why that flashy energy came through. And look, we have vacation. You can't make that up. And we have the travel. So this person likes to go on vacation. That could be a gift that they give you. Hey, let's go on vacation together. Or, you know, I don't know why. They may do something drastic for like the first or second date. It's like, oh, why don't we go here? And it's like, wait, what? How are we going to? You don't just offer people to go to Tahiti on a first date. Like, I don't know you like that. I'm getting like a weird energy. Like, this person is quirky. And they're going to be like, well, why not? And, it, and you're going to be like, well... <laughs> Why can't we just go to a restaurant? Like, isn't that a little bit no more normal? Um, but they might have a plane, you know, waiting or a jet waiting or something like that. If they have money like that, if they're if they're rich, rich, <laughs> if they got money set up like that, it might be something like that. Or they might have a driver come and get you. And it may be like this elaborate dating. You're like, you know, you could have did things that are something that was like way more simple than this. Right. And they're just like, yeah, I know I could have, but I didn't want to.
And so it's just kind of like, okay, this person's interesting. <laughs> like they're funny. Okay. I think you're going to, they're going to entertain you. They're, you're going to, you're never going to be bored with this person is what I'm hearing. They're going to keep you on your toes. All right. You'll be receiving a gift or precious, uh, whoa, I just heard a precious gem. So this person could give you some type of, this says diamond. It could actually be a diamond, but it could be something vintage. Like it could be like an old celebrity's ring that was given back to Cartier or, um, I saw this post where. Elizabeth Taylor is one of her husbands had brought her this beautiful necklace with the matching earrings, I believe. And when she passed away, they, I think the, I think Cartier, I think it was Cartier. They were able, there was a, um, a bid on it. I think they were able to buy it back. Cartier brought the necklace back, but you would think that's something you would keep in the family, but, um, it was sold and, it's giving me that energy that this person could buy something that was like once Elizabeth Taylor's or Marilyn Monroe or um, something that was similar to something they had. Like, it's just the idea of it. Like, it was vintage. Or they might have something made for you. It's something unique. They're not just going to go into a jewelry store and say, hey, let me get that right there. I think she might like it or he might like it. And if it's a watch, it could be a vintage Rolex. So, um yeah, they're showing me something, um, Rolex inscri inscribed. Oh, they're showing me Sex in the City. And Sex in the City, she brought, um, I think Carrie brought her husband a vintage Rolex. And he was like, oh, thanks, babe. And she's like, what? Like, he gave her something so simple. And she's like, I just got you a vintage Rolex. What the actual fuck? Like, do you know how much that was? You know, I had this, you know, per I had it perfectly set up just for you and this is so this person is they care about gift giving and they really do like unique gifts things that are very personal and I feel like that's the type of this person might have Virgo on their chart they take note of things and um they're gonna be like okay I think they're gonna like this it's like when um rumor has it Kobe Bryant gave Vanessa something that's from the notebook if I'm not sure if I'm not sure uh oh if I'm not mistaken I'm sorry but I'm not sure Hmm. Sorry, they're telling me a lot of different things right now. So this person may do something really quirky and weird. Like they may know you like a certain movie and they might find the dress or find something from that movie and it may cost a lot of money and they might get it anyways for you. And it's just like, see, I love you. And it's like, wait, what? You know, you didn't have to do that. You could have just brought me a purse, but okay. Um, okay, thank you. And it shows that they care. They might take you to a specific um, place that means something to them so they I think they know history um they're very sentimental is what I'm hearing when they take you somewhere they're taking you there because it may mean something they might tell you something about where you are um it, it's it's very thought out they could even give you a a something that was their their mother's or something that was a grandmother something that was passed down to them that's that's the type of person this is it's like okay i'm gonna take you here because this is where my father proposed to my mother and it means a lot to me or they may know something that means a lot to you and your family like for example say if you have a, a, a relative or a loved one or a sibling something someone that passed away they may do something for you um that and i i know a lot of people don't like kanye west but it's like, you know, how Kanye West had, um, what is that? Uh, the holographic, ho like, not is the, holo the hologram of, oh my God, I'm tongue-tied today, you guys. I'm getting a lot of messages and I'm tongue-tied and I'm like a little tired. But he had where there's this kind of audio pl playing with um, Kim Kardashian's um, father, rest in peace to him, uh, with him talking and saying how proud of he, how, how proud he was of her. And it was, it's trippy. It's kind of weird. It's like if he could be here now, what he would say to her. So it's weird. This person would do something kind of, maybe not to that full extent, although they could if they have all that money. This person's thinking about doing something that would touch you in a way. Um, something that's sentimental. Something that you're going to remember. That's their, that's their love language. Let me give you something that's going to be meaningful. That's it. That's what they have. That's what they just told me. They just said, that's it. That's it. So I guess they're done with that. They shut that down quick. I was going to keep going. Okay, Pahawan. 
wow really they might even give you a book that's meaningful but anyways they told me that's it so i'm gonna stop that's strange well okay but yeah so that's what i have for you pal one if you like that please feel free to comment share like and subscribe i don't know why they cut us off like that it's so weird but okay we're gonna move on um i hope this was able to help you i thought this was beautiful i thought it was unique and um if this resonates let me know if this person is unique in any way like this um whether they have all that money or not it doesn't matter love is what matters okay and at the end of the day trust me money is not what you're thinking about it's it's the people you have around you so this person may even say something like that to you but uh yeah that's kind of weird they shut that down quickly and leave, I'm hearing leave something to the imagination. No more talking. You'll see. So, okay, okay, okay. That's that's what I got then. All right, let's 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 move forward and shuffle these cards for pal two. All right. So, let me get pal two's cards. Ready? Hey, pal two. So, we're going to jump into your reading. Um, let me shuffle first. Wow, okay, that was long. Okay. Just shuffling the cards a little bit. We're gonna ring this bell, clear the energy. Oh, I'm hearing something already, guys. Woo, hear the energy, Holy Spirit, come through. Holy Spirit, who's pal two mirror? Who's your future spouse? I just heard stubborn. <laughs> stubborn as a mule. Is what is this song? Stubborn as a rock. Something like that. Something as a rock. I don't know what that song is. Oops, success. Okay. So what I'm gonna do, you guys, is I'm going to move the oracle cards over. I'm gonna show your tarot cards first, then we're gonna get into the oracle cards, alright? So your first card that you have is the chariot success action. Ooh, I'm just, I just heard I'm not willing to fail. Ace of Pentacles, Wisdom, Wealth. This is beautiful. Okay, so we need a lot of money here. I love this. At the bottom, we have the Empress, Creation, Birth. All right now. Oh, oh, okay. That's way too many, but what is this? Fighting for a cause, Knight of Swords. Ooh, Nine of Pentacles, Abundance and Security at the bottom. Okay. Um. Yeah, so Ace of Wands. Look at that. Passion, Initiative. So Passionate passionate and also stubborn so they're not willing to back down not backing down from a challenge they might be very competitive they might like sports they might be an athlete this person likes to be um i'm hearing an intense situation so they like the intensity of sports they like they like gymnastics is what i'm hearing what um they like the olympics is also what i'm hearing so they might like to watch things like that yeah, this person likes to learn new things is what I'm hearing, but they they do have a hard time with failure. They don't like the idea of failing. Let's get some numbers for you guys because I did that for pal two. I, no, for pal one, this is pal two. I don't know why I just said that, but there's, a, I don't know why they just stopped me and they said this person, they like to be, they like the feeling of, um, ah. Uh, achievement it's like a i'm more feeling it it's like yes we won you know like whoo this person might like to watch the super bowl they may like things like that and um even if it's a woman she likes something with sports something with um they believe in healthy competition point blank period they, they like that let's see what is it rugby what is r rugby what is rugby is that isn't that a sport okay hearing that one number we're gonna get three we have two Two, five, two, two, five. So that might mean something could be a month, could be a, a day. Um, it could be a life path number. All right, who's pal two spouse? So they marry. We also have seven, 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 seven here. And we have, oh, we have two aces, duh. Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Wands. They like to win. Be number one, I'm hearing number one. I'm hearing ludicrous. I'm headed for that number one spot. Yeah. They are competitive. Six of cups. 
So with the Six of Cups here, they could have um, competed when they were young. This could be something that they really liked as a kid. They might actually, um, if they if they have kids or if they want kids, this person might want to put their kids in sports because they feel that children should, you know, learn teamwork, should know how to, you know, I'm hearing they want they want their kids to be motivated. It's like be motivated, go after something. Nine of Swords. Mm -hmm. I'm getting a lot of action here. Like um, Nine of Swords usually can't sleep at night. That's the energy I get from Nine of Swords sometimes. Like it's like, I'm up. I feel like this person has a lot of energy. They may have insomnia. They may not be able to sleep at night. I feel like they're always doing something with their hands. And um, this is the type of person that will get up in the middle of the night and you'll be like, what's going on? They're like, I can't sleep, so I'm going to go take a run or I'm going to go to the gym or I'm going to go work out or I'm going to go build something. I'm actually seeing them doing something with their hands. So they might like to build. It could be construction. It could be pottery. It could be... Um, drawing there's something that this person does with their hands for some of you guys it could be cooking but i'm not really getting that too much i feel like this is more of um i don't know this is some something that they like to do something they like to craft or or um create with their hands i'm getting like a if this is a masculine energy i'm getting the energy of like a you know those you know they have that that stereotype of the man's man the manly man who can fix everything around the house he likes sports, all of that. Oh, drink a beer type of dude energy. I'm not saying that's what they like to do, but that's the energy that I am getting. Queen of Wands. Pal 1 had the Queen of Wands. Leo Sagittarius Aries. If it's a feminine energy, she could be like the the mom that um likes sports. She could be like, you know, I could be a, a, a soccer mom. I could be, you know, I could be the chick who, who likes that she may have also been involved in. This is a woman who's in the skating, um, in this professional skating rink kind of energy. So there's the energy of this person wanting to work hard towards something. They like the intensity of it. I don't know why that they're stopping at that. This person could have been hurt in the past though. Fighting for a cause with the five of swords. And look, this is track. They could have ran track in the past, or they still like to run track. See, and there's usually, it's like a lane, right? Stay in your lane. And even with the skating, there's a lane that you have to stay in. So this person may, may have been very athletic. They may still be. Um, yeah, so this is someone who cares about their body. That's what I'm getting. They care about their body. Um, you see how this person is just kind of flying, like jumping, fighting for a cause, five of swords. This person cares about things that I'm hearing. They, they're, they care about things that have happened to people. So when like, say if someone's telling you, you know, when I was a kid, this happened to me, they're going to all of a sudden it's like their ears kind of get big. It's like, huh? Really? You went through that? Wow, man. Like I would have never known. So that person, it's like they, they yeah, they care about. They care about the things that people have gone through. I feel like this person is going through something. Something um, something that's really hurt them. Whether this is something that happened in their childhood or something that has happened to them as an adult. Something has hurt them. And they're fighting for this. So if it was some type of abuse, they're fighting for that. Even if it was abuse in um, some type of like field. Like for example, you know how they had, they had all those um, allegations come out about the different you know, abuse within, um, you know, within like the whole, uh, like the Olympics, not the Olympics, but like with gymnasts, this, the sexual abuse. Um, it's almost like this person may have went through some type of abuse or something of some kind. And now they stand up and they help others, you know, it's like, let's fight for this cause and speak out about this. Um, they're, they're willing to sit down and talk about the things that have happened to them. Um, it could even be with like drugs, like, you know, um, st steroids or something. It doesn't mean that they've done that, but there's something here where they're like, yeah, let's talk about the issue, you know, in this field. So say if they are, I'm just giving you a random idea. Say if they're a soccer player, they're, they love soccer. They're, you know, they're great at it, but at the same time, they're like, but let's talk about the issues here. You know, let's talk about this. If they're a dancer, they could say, let's talk about if they're a ballet dancer. Let's talk about how beautiful ballet is, but how many ballet dancers are starving themselves and the body shaming and um, just all of that. It's like, let's talk about not just the good stuff, but the things that actually do harm, um, you know, do harm in this industry, you know? So 
whatever it is that they're doing, they, they talk about the good and the bad side of it. Let's see what else we have here. Who is Paul Two spouse? The magician, manifester, manipulating the elements, huh? This person, you see how she's giving food to the to the birds and there's a squirrel here. You see how she's giving? And you see how he has like this energy and he's putting it back into the earth. So this person might believe in you reap what you sow. They're like they might believe in um, messages like that, like good karma, like whatever I put out there is going to come back to me. They may know that. Like, so let me do good. Let me let me tell you what's happening here so that we can heal this. They might be into metaphysics. I'm hearing metaphysical um, symbols. That's what I just heard. So they might care about stuff like that. Law of attraction. Law of attraction. Three of Pentacles. Building, building something together. Working together. I feel like they care about teamwork. Teamwork is big in this pile. I wouldn't be shocked if we had the Ten of Cups or the Ten of Pentacles come out or um, the Three of Cups. They care about, um, they want to, I feel like this person, if they want kids, they want, they want many kids. It's not just two kids. They would want like three, four, five. If they like pets, they might want more than one pet. Like this person likes gatherings. They like um, having trustworthy people around. Not just anyone, but trustworthy people around. They do believe in teamwork and family justice. Ace of Wands, Queen of Wands, communication. Yes, yeah, standing up for what's right. Remember fighting for a cause? Yeah, they're not afraid to bring the tower down. We have the tower card here. They said, look, we're going to speak up about the ish that's happened in the past, things that have been done wrong. We're going to fight for this cause. I'm hearing no man left behind. So even if this person was like in the military or anything like that, this person believes in saying, hey, this happened when we were here. This happened. Let's not... Forget about the things that happened. Let's bring justice to the things that had happened. The things that have hurt us. It could be as simple as something that happened in their family. Like this person is someone who speaks up about their pain. And um, they fight for what's right. So they might raise awareness for certain things. They may be the type of person who will do a marathon for different, um, you know, charities. Or just doing all types of marathons or any work for different charities and events. Kind of, Pal 1 is kind of similar. Not really. This is different energy. This person's more down to earth. Not very showy. Not not very flamboyant. Buoyant. This person may have wealth. Some type of stability and success. Um, I definitely do feel that. But this person's very passionate about fighting for a cause. Fighting for what's right. Standing up for others. Believing in yourself. Being confident and speaking up. Speaking the truth. Bringing justice in the, in the world is what I'm hearing, okay? So this person could also be a lawyer or, or um, an attorney, okay? They could be in the legal field is what I'm hearing. They may have always dreamed of fighting for justice. They may also be into sports or someone who just takes really good care of their body. I do feel like there's some type of competitive sport that they like though, all right? So either they're in sports and they fight for what's right or they're someone who's in law and they fight for what's right and they like sports on their you know downtime there's something to that even if it's a woman okay queen of wands showing up again from a different deck leo sagittarius aries is here strong with with libra so this person is very confident very passionate about the things that they feel need to be brought to light it's like okay let's shine a light on this let's, let's bring some justice to this let's be fair um a fair game fa fair sport fair battle they believe in that like let's do this fair and square if they had a family they'd be like okay say if you had two kids right and someone took something they're gonna be like okay let's talk all of us okay and they'll be like hey come here so and so and so and so if you did this what do you need to say back to this person so it's like apologize right or say thank you this person might care about um you know having manners which i would hope because i feel like this world really free we're really forgetting about manners so this person cares about you know doing the right thing let's let's do the right thing at the end of the day it's not that serious but they do have an intensity towards um sports or something that they're passionate about it could be building this person could also be an art into um architecture or something with the home home environment um, creating, crafting things at home, uh, 
even if it's a woman, she could be into interior design. Even if it's a man, he could be into, into interior design. Landscaping is what I'm hearing. Landscape artists. Justice. They care about that. They may even fight for what's right, kind of like how one with the animals. We have two squirrels here. Squirrels could be significant. I have a card in one of my decks that says, believe in yourself with the squirrel spirit. So this person could just really have a strong belief in themselves. And they're going to motivate you to believe in yourself, I'm hearing. So they're also a giver is what I'm hearing. This person is more of like, let me motivate you. This is this is the person you're going to be like, babe, I really wish I could. I want to go out. Say you're an actress, right? Or whatever. You're like, I really want to go out for this part, but I just don't feel like I can do it. I don't I don't feel like I can do it. I don't know. I don't even know if my body if I could if my body fits the part. I don't know how I feel about this. Like, can I can I even do this thing? I'm like, hell yeah, you can do it. Stop doubting yourself. You are so worthy. Like this person is like your your hype man. And they're not BSing you. I feel like they're gonna be real, like they're gonna push you out there, like, you know what? You're gonna do it. You're gonna do it. You wanna learn how to skate? You're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Like, you're just do it. Like Nike, just do it. That's this person's energy. Don't, you know, you, you're either going to piss or get off the pot. That energy, like we're going to do it. We're not going to whine about it. We're not going to second guess ourselves. We're just going to get out there and do it. This person's um, parenting, like if they were a parent, is say when it comes to like swimming, if um the kid, you know, wants to get in the water, but they start whining because they're afraid. This is a parent and this is not abuse. This is just their energy of come here and they'll pick up their kid and they'll get in the water with the kid. See, see you're in the water. Has it harmed you? Are you okay? All right, now let's learn how to swim. That, that's the energy, like, get over it, let's go. Like, you're taking too much time crying, let's just get in it. You're wasting time, come on, let's go. That energy, okay? So I hope you guys get an idea. This person is just very, like, let's, let's just do it. You want to go, so let's go. They're not going to sit around and think. They're not indecisive. That's it. They are very decisive creatures. This person is like, I know what I'm going to do. Let's do it. You want to do that? Let's go. You're going to be like, are you serious? Yeah, let's go. Let's do it. You can say, well, I kind of, you know what I wish I could do, babe? <laughs> I'm getting the scenario. You talking to them, whether you're a guy or, or a woman, whoever, uh, they, um, you're talking to them. You're like, babe, I, you know what I wish? I wish we could just jump on a flight and go to Italy right now. And this person will turn to you and say, do you have work tomorrow? Do you have work next week? And you'll be like, no. You know, but I, I do kind of need to handle some things around the house. And they'll be like, well, let's go. And you're going to be like, what? You, you, we shouldn't do that. Like, that is not even planned. Where are we going to stay? Let's just go. We'll figure it out. And you'll be like, what? And they'll say, let's go. And they'll be getting up and going and to get their laptop to search for flights. Like, that. that's the type of person. Like, let's let's just do it. Um, life is short. Let's do it. That's what I'm hearing. Life is short. Let's just do it. So maybe this person um, has lost someone or maybe they're just, they look at life at, like, you know, hey, we're not guaranteed to be here um, and we're not going to be here forever. So let's just manifest the best life for ourselves. I feel like they're very big on manifesting, like speak, speak things into existence. They're not negative. They don't like negative energy. They're, this is someone who shut down negative energy. Like we don't do Debbie Downer issue. We don't do victim mentality. We move forward in confidence. And even when we're sad, we take a little time to be sad, but then we get back up and we keep pushing. We keep moving forward. We don't give up. This is not someone who gives up. And they might be a bit in aggressive with their approach with you. It's like when they go, when they're trying to court you, they might be like, you know what? I'm not taking no for an answer. Not in a creep way, but they're like, I'm, they're, they're going to keep going at you. It's like, look, I'm going to impress you. Like, I'm going to get you. You know, I'm going to get you, right? Uh-huh. That's the energy I'm getting. Reflection. So this person may reflect some energy within you is what I'm hearing. This person may also be the things that you're you feel that you want, like the aspects that you would want for yourself. This person is that. So if you feel like you're indecisive or you feel like, well, I, I sometimes I doubt myself. This person is the energy that you're wanting, you know, for yourself. This is that person. And um, they may have been that way in the past. Someone who's very scared. It could have been. But they're they're willing to, they want to show you a different side of yourself. It's like, look, this is who you are. Like, let me bring you. And if um, this person may come to you in a time where you are not sure of life. Or maybe if something has happened to you or something has happened to them, there's something where they're getting over. They're bringing more balance and fairness to their life. 
or they're receiving some type of karmic, karmic justice. Either you are or they are when you guys meet each other. Bloom. And they want you to bloom. It's like, I want you to grow. We're going to keep moving forward. We're going to keep growing. Nothing's going to dim our light. Rebel. See? This person could be a rebel. Like, they do things that are kind of wild and free. Um, just go for it. And look, they're both wearing black. Rebellious. They may have had a, a rockish, kind of like, or a rebellious youth okay where they were kind of the wild wild child um is what i'm getting a look you see how that's a different energy maybe that's a side of them that you'll you'll see like oh they're rebellious like they they're gonna do what they want if you tell them not to do it they're gonna do it just because you told them not to do it they're stubborn just because you told me not to do it i'm not gonna do it so this could be a taurus or a scorpio a fixed sign leo is leo a fixed sign this is someone who's fixed or they have heavy fixed placements faith this person believes in, I just, I was about to say believes in believing in themselves. Yeah, believe in yourself is what I'm hearing, right? Faith, have faith in yourself. You gotta have faith is what I'm hearing. You Is it, you gotta have faith? Something like that? Yeah, they're like, you gotta go for it. That's the energy. Okay, what else do we have here? We have dating. Yeah, so this person's gonna like to wine and dine you, okay? What else? We have a mature man. So this person could be older than you. They could be a, a male or a female. But this person could be, maybe that's the, why they're so pushy. They could be like, just go for it. Do it. Come on. Go for it. Like, there's no way, you're going to, there's no use in just sitting here. This person could be a bit older than you. Could be an age gap. We have life purpose. Yeah, this person believes in going after their dreams. Like, go after what you believe in. Live your life purpose to the fullest. You never know until you try it. That's what I'm hearing. You never know. So get out there. Do what you're supposed to do while you're here because life is short. That's what I just heard. We have manifestation. Yep. Manifestation. Look, we have the infinity symbol here twice. So they could something could have to do with the number eight or the infinity symbol. I'm hearing to infinity and beyond. Yeah. So this could be a soulmate connection. <clears throat> yeah. This person believe, believes in manifesting the best life. Like you can manifest it. They might be into TED Talks. They might be, I'm, I'm saying law of attraction. I'm saying it. I'm seeing it too. I, I'm seeing like a law of attraction book. Um, they, they like that type of stuff. They might actually be a motivational speaker or some type of coach. We have fifth chakra, Archangel Gabriel speaking up. Yes, so they might be known for um, motivational spe speeches. They could be a coach of some sort or were a coach. Or um, there's something that they do with uplifting people, inspiring people. Or they could just be an inspirational person whenever they open their mouth. We have good luck. So this person's lucky and you guys will have good luck together is what I'm hearing. Yeah, this person is very vocal. So their love language might be verbally telling you, hey, I love you or I care about you. They're a thinker, but they don't get stuck thinking. They're a doer as well. So they think and they do. And this person kind of looks like he's thinking, but he's he's not just like, I'm going to stay in my head and, and not know what to do. No, he's going to think about it and he's going to bring it into life because he's a manifester. So I'm shocked we don't have the magician. Oh, we do. That's the magician card, the infinity, that, that card with the infinity symbol. And they do have compassion for the world. So they're compassionate, but they're also doers. They're like, they're a doer. This is, you just do it. Just do it. Manifest it. Do it. Make it happen for yourself. We have detective, great powers of observation and intuition, desire to seek out the truth. This is also that person desiring to fight for a cause. So they might do a lot of research on different things that they care about. They could be a detective. Prince, romantic charm, and potential for power. Yeah, this person is very powerful. Very charming, I'm hearing. Very charismatic when they want to be. Look, we have Rebel again. And this is like a kind of, I mentioned this in, in Power One, kind of like a hippie vibe. Very rebellious. They might like rock music. They may like alternative music. Hip, music that's kind of unknown is what I'm hearing. Underground music. We have challenges, authority to affect social change, reject spiritual systems that do not serve inner needs. Yeah. So they may have a different belief. Yeah, law of attraction. They believe in manifesting things for themselves. They don't believe in someone having control or power over them. Um, they have different beliefs is what I'm hearing. They believe in like just like what's fair, what's balanced in the earth, in the planet. And they dig. This person does research on anything that they do. Look, we have mentor. 
passing on wisdom and refining a student's character. So they could be a teacher, they could be some type of speaker, um, a coach of some sort. Um, this person could be older, once again, is what I'm getting, okay? But they might have some youthful qualities about them, but they could be older than you. And I feel like they're, they want to teach others. They want to teach the youth. They want to pass on wisdom to other people. So they may want a family. Look at this. We have immaturity frowned upon age gaps. So this person could be uh, really like way older than you or it might be like, okay, do I want to go there? This could be weird. Um, not anything that's illegal. So if you are under 18, this is not for you. Um, immature. So there could be some type of immaturity that may be here. We have childish, defensive, foolish, juvenile. So this person could be immature or you might think that they're immature. You could be just much younger than them. Just because someone's older in age doesn't mean that they're mature. They might have some, you know, that rebellious energy could be like, well, like, okay, so you're just going to not do this. That's so immature of you, you know, but in their mind, it's like, well, I'm rebelling, right? Or that could be the energy of you being younger than them. And there are some different energies with, since there is an age gap where it's like, okay, well, I'm, I'm not too hip to this because I'm younger in age. And where they've been around a little bit longer and it's like, well, let me pass on the knowledge that I've learned. And you have a lot of people that are in relationships with people who have huge age gaps from them. So, um, so it's just like, okay, so I'm passing on this knowledge to you because you didn't know it. Now let me share it, you know? Um, so to each his own, right? We have ambiguity, sexual identity, gender, gender expression, style. So re rebel, that's falling on top of the rebel, which is making me think that they might do something totally different. They might wear something kind of um, strange or different just to make people talk, just to be like, yep, I did it, whatever. Rebellious. Um, think of an artist that's done something just to just to be rebellious. It's like, yep, or I, I kissed this person, yep, or I, I wore this, yep, or I said this just to be rebellious. Mm -hmm. This person could have been someone to write wild things on their shirt and go to events just to piss people off. It's like, that person does not care. Okay, they'll go to a bar that could be filled with Cowboys fans and they could be wearing a, um, a Rams shirt. Like, I don't care. Hey, hello. You know, we kicked your ass. That type of energy. Random. So <laughs> this person, but I feel like this is more on the, the serious side where they might wear something that might be offensive towards some another party just to cause talk. Like, and it doesn't mean that they're a bad person, but they they're standing up for what they believe is right. So if say, for example, if you believe if you if you're for a certain political campaign, they might purposely wear a, a, a hat that, you know, say if say if they didn't like Trump, this is just an example, if they didn't like Trump, they might wear a red hat that might say fuck Trump. And then you'll be like, what the hell? You're, are you trying to cause issues? And it's like, well, I don't care. You know, I feel like we should stand up for what we believe. And it's like, oh, God, OK, OK, that's that person. So this person is even though they might be older than you, they're like, what? Fuck, you know, let's, let's give a big fuck you before we, we leave the planet. That's what I'm hearing. This person's funny. Um, you might think, well, they're calm and they're older. Yeah, they're calm and older, but they also have a rebellious streak like this. It's like, eh, I don't care what they think. You want to you don't want to wear shoes. Don't wear shoes. You know, do whatever you want. That's where they are in life for there. They they do things because they feel like, hey, I've lived, I've made it to this point in my life where I don't give a flying F. We have Forrest. And this person doesn't have to be way older than you, although this card is showing up. There just could be some immaturity issues, some energy where it's like, okay, come on. We have to find some type of compromise here. There needs to be some type of compromise here. Like, this is just childish. You guys might get into some childish disagreements um and then make up afterwards so that's you know no relationship is perfect we have abundance hidden wealth transformation growth yeah forest there will be growth in this connection so you guys might have some arguments here and there on beliefs and immaturity issues and all of that whether it's you or this person or both of you um but one thing's for sure you you're gonna love their heart it's like you know that they have a good heart and they have a lot to share with the world and I'm getting like this this tree it's like there's innocence here with this white rabbit but this tree it's like a trees are have been sometimes whoa they just stopped me I was about to say you never know how long a tree has been there is this a red cardinal on here but you guys might want to pay attention to red cardinals and white um, rabbits but it's like there's an innocence there's a sign within this 
it's like I'm coming from a pure place in heart. But trees, you never know how long they've been there. They're giving me multiple messages right now, you guys. And it's like the age of tree, like a willow tree. I'm, I'm getting something very, um, I don't know why they just said like wine, age. Like it's something gets better over time. This tree grows over time. Things, branches to spread, things to share, wisdom accumulated um, in nature. So this person might like nature as well. I think how one like nature. Um, but there's an energy here of connecting with the family tree. So this person might care about their their family tree. Um, healing things within the family, kind of like Pal One. But this energy could also be like they want to spread out and have children. Um, they want to help the world. I feel like they care about helping the world um, a lot. And there is a, fer a fertile energy here where maybe this person is older and they want to have kids. And maybe they didn't get a chance to have kids. Or um, there's something about extending their legacy is what I'm hearing. I don't feel like this person... I feel like they changed their mind. This person, they could be a Gemini, but this person changes their mind a lot. We have grapes. Remember, sip fine, want wine. Yeah, mm hmm. They bring that back. Wine. They might like to go to wineries. We have time to go out and have fun. They're showing me that scene from I Love Lucy where, where she's stumping on the grapes, you know, make, when they're making wine. Laughter. This person might like to laugh. They have needle and thread. A sincere wish will be granted. So, whatever you're wishing for, you could be manifesting. We have good luck here. This person may be very lucky. They might um some some type of connection with Jupiter. That could be Sagittarius, or um, but we have Taurus here. I feel I feel Taurus could be here. We do have fire. I feel like we have fire and earth here. Fire and earth doesn't have to be, but I do see it. Maybe Gemini is what I'm getting, but a sincere wish wish will be granted and time to go out and have fun. So this person likes to have fun. They like to be a little rebellious, a little daring. This is a person you can dare them to do something, they'll do it. Like, oh, you're driving at night and you might tell them, okay, I, I dare you to get out of the car and dance in traffic. They would do it. And you'd be like, you know, like you're, you're older than me, you know better. And they're like, I don't care. You know, life is short, let's do it, okay? So yeah, that that's this person. I wish I could get more in this person, but some things aren't always meant to be shared until that person arrives. I feel like this person, we have the numbers 18, 63, 54 here. That could be significant. Um, these signs could be significant to these zodiac signs. Uh, yeah, so this person, they may like to read during their spare time person dresses nice i feel like they dress nice but they don't really care about that i feel like they're all they're willing to put on anything but they do they do like to keep their wardrobe up but if you tell them it's a fancy occasion you have to dress a certain way they might purposely wear something that's casual <laughs> it's like mm, i don't want to it's 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 playful i don't know why it's just like i'll, I'll do what i want to do here you to tell me what to do in my life that's just the energy i'm getting from this person They've been through some things, and now they're just like, life is short. Let's make the most of it. Let's have fun. Wine. Ah, see, I did say wine. So they like winery, wineries. They may own a winery, or they might like to go to um, different wineries. Might be something they take you um, to a lot. They might do picnic dates, beach dates, something these two have in common. Picnic dates, beach dates. I'm hearing take a break. That that's the energy that they have. Like let's just let's just chillax. Oh, it's like um Julia Roberts and Pretty Woman. Let's veg out. Let's veg out. Yeah, there's some fertility here, you guys. So this person's abundant. They've got some type of good luck. You might hear of things that have happened to them. You'd be like, what? You survived that? And they're just blessed. Like they're just blessed, and they have this lucky streak, and they're just. They're just a very unique creature is what I'm hearing. Like, they're different. They're different. And once again, they might like animals. They might like scooters and motorcycles. Doing fun things. Connecting with nature. Connecting with the animals in nature. Oh, their dates. Like, the dates they might like to go on. Are, look, we have the star card. That was in Power 1. They might actually like to do different activities. Like, okay, so they might switch it up. Let's have a picnic date one day, a beach date one day. But let's go parasailing. Or let's go zip lining, Or let's go get on ATVs. And, you know, let's go. Um, I don't feel like golf is their thing. It could be. But I don't think they're a golf type of guy. I think this guy is very, like, action oriented list list it could be but they like things that are more um intense 
So they might like take you to a shooting range. They might take you to do some of the most just action oriented things to see if you can keep up with them even though they might be older than you or you may be older than them um the emperor's showing up again they're looking for this whether it's a male or a female or they they're looking for this creation birth let's create together they might want to create something with you all right pal two that's what i have for you let's jump into pal three hey pal three so let's get into your reading let's see what numbers you have bum, bum. Two, two, one, two, two, one. Cleanse the energy. I, didn't, I forgot to do that, you guys. Let's do it again. One, three, four. One, three, four. All right, so keep those in mind. So I'm going to move your oracle cards to the side. Actually, they're telling me to do yours totally different than everyone else. That's weird. Okay, let's go. You have brunette female. So you could be the brunette female or they could be brunette. Someone has br brunette hair or they have green eyes. All right. Doesn't have to be a female. Brown hair, green eyes, possibly. We have freedom. So this person likes their freedom, a free spirit. Yeah, this person's a free, um, a free spirit. I'm hearing, I'm like a bird. I want to fly away. I don't know where my home is. Nelly Furtado. Spiritual maturity. Okay, so this person's mature. When it comes to spirituality. So this person may be someone who believes that all coexisting, right? Like every every um, belief system matters. Uh, we have soulmates. Okay, so you guys could be soulmates. Maybe this is why they wanted me to do this first. Soulmates, transforming together, learning together, growing together. May not. So you guys, I'm getting it. You guys will be a couple that will be together until death do you part is what I'm hearing. That's very specific. We have the world. So there could be some traveling, or this person could be from a different country, worlds apart. Um, I'm hearing miles away by um, Madonna. So you could feel this person even when they're miles away from you. So there could be some type of telepathic. This is a spiritual relationship, like heavy spiritual connection, soulmate, high soulmate type of energy, enlightenment. You guys learn from each other. We have freedom. Freedom's here twice, you guys. Freedom's here twice. Fly like a bird. Did I say that? Yeah. This person likes their freedom. Um, this will be a freeing connection. I feel like you guys will both be free. You guys might travel a lot. I got that for another pal. Just jump up and go somewhere. We have Archangel Raphael, which is all about healing. And this is a heart chakra. So you guys are working on your heart chakras together. Healing anything that's happened from the past. Let's see what else you guys have. We have happiness. There's a lot of joy here. I'm getting a very playful, free. It's like... Um, liberation what liberating a liberating feeling it's like i feel free when i'm with this person i feel happy i feel carefree I feel like a child and it's you guys can talk about anything bounce topics off of each other we have damsel and this says understanding the nature of healthy romance inspires you to rely on yourself right so you guys are not codependent this is not codependent this is a very mature love like we've done our healing work and we're still healing but guess what we're not going to be codependent on each other we're not gonna you know put stress or weight on each other we're both doing our our work we have mother nurturance patience unconditional love joy and giving birth to life so i feel like you guys are nurturing to with each other patient with each other this person is very caring very nurturing if this is a, a feminine energy she may be a mother already or she will be the mother of your children if you are the feminine energy and you want to have children um then this could be an energy that could be coming through very heavy where maybe you guys are meant to come together to bring into bring another soul in especially since you're soulmates and we have the spiritual maturity in the world card cycles into your beginning yeah so you guys may be meant to bring a certain soul here down on earth and it could be a girl doesn't have to be but um yeah we have martyr and this says learning the transcendent nature of service to oneself or a cause wow okay freedom they keep saying freedom victim prevents you from letting yourself be victimized or victimizing others